There's a dirty secret behind Webflow templates that most people don't even know about, but it's silently causing thousands of people frustrations. And the secret is that most of these premium templates are actually broken right out of the box. Yeah, you heard that correctly flat out broken and these are like $80 templates and I'm going to actually show you three of them that I found. I found way more than that, especially when I started looking, but I'm going to show you three really bad ones that I found. But before I get into that, I quick want to say something to Webflow. Guys, if you are watching this, you have to increase the quality assurance that you're doing on these templates. Each of these templates go through uh, your team and they all get approved. Now they're getting approved broken, so you're gonna have to fix something with quality assurance because you actually have real businesses coming to the template store thinking they're buying great templates at expensive prices, like we're talking $80 a template. So for the sake of the companies and the businesses coming to this template store, spending hard earned cash on these templates, we gotta do better with the quality assurance. Now just one more thing before I get into these templates. If you're watching this and you actually built one of these templates, I'm not trying to pick on you. Don't take any of this personal. Just use this as an opportunity to hone your craft and to fix these issues moving forward. So without any further ado, let's get right into these templates. So one of the first ones I found was a website called Clover. This is actually one of the newest ones on the template store. Now the Clover template is pretty nice. It is pretty good and it, it overall is works perfectly however there's a page if you go on to uh let's go down you go to the product tour one page i find i'm finding a theme with these templates that are breaking is they are built for smaller screen sizes like small macbooks but when you're viewing them larger on larger displays a lot of them are completely breaking and it's simple and easy to fix. So I don't know why these are breaking in the first place. So for example, here on the product tour one page, I'm just gonna zoom out three times. And you're gonna see as I'm zooming out, the picture still stays massive and there isn't a set max width in case someone is viewing it on a massive display. And you may think people out there aren't doing that. However, I've seen people that are using IMAX and they have, they have the browser in full screen and they're viewing the site on a massive display. It literally, it happens. We scroll down, everything is pretty decent, but this top header section. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fix this. It just takes three simple things to fix this. We can preview it in the designer, and from here we can actually edit the template. None of the edits are gonna go live. It's just gonna be local, and I can show you how to fix this really simple. So if you buy one of these templates and they're broken, or you're just having this trouble yourself on your own site, this is how you can fix it. So they, the designer wanted this to go up to the edge because it looks nicer. However, there's an issue with on larger displays, it just keeps growing and then stuff looks um, terrible. So we're gonna have to have a max width at some point or they're gonna have to change the image or something. So here on the header section, we have a box wrapping the text and then we have the image on the other side that's kind of like its own box. Now, both of these items are within a section. And you can see over here in the, the designer tab that this section doesn't have a max width. So it's pretty simple. All we have to do is we're gonna center the section. We're gonna give it a max width of 100%. And then we're gonna give it a max width of like 100 REM. I'm just gonna pick, let's do 120 so that it is pretty wide. Now, if we preview this, I just made three changes. If we preview this, it's gonna have a max width. And if we keep zooming out, it's not gonna to continue to grow. So this is the one template. Now the second one I found, this is called Go Read. This is really new in the template store as well. And they actually fixed one of the issues that I saw before I recorded this video. They had a very long image here that was completely broken. It was laying under all the other images and looked really terrible. They fixed that, great job. However, there is another issue that I had in my notes that I did see, much like Clover, where they had an issue stopping some, stopping uh, the hero section from growing any larger. They're having that same issue down here on homepage one, or blog homepage one, with their team. If I start zooming out again, 
so you're like on a larger display, it's, it doesn't stop growing, similar to how Clover did. Now, the rest of the site looks perfect. It finally, it has a max width, so that prevents everything from growing. Um, if we scroll down, this is still terrible, and it's still completely broken. So that is that issue on this website. As you can see, we're running into a reoccurring theme where these designers and developers, they're just not testing the templates on large screen sizes. And it's probably because they don't have large displays that they're building them on. However, there are different ways to test it just like I did by zooming out and it kind of lets you see what's going on. So we have one more template on the list and this one I found long ago because a client wanted to use this template. So we used it for them and as we were in there setting everything up I noticed hey there is a bug in here that came with the template right out of the box it was completely broken and if we scroll down they have this nice endless thing right here but as you can see it's already breaking it's the text there isn't enough text on the one side because again it wasn't optimized for large screens however it gets even worse again if we zoom out a little bit you can see it's continuing to break even more because there's more room between the text right here. And if you continue to zoom way out, you can start seeing the edges of these, these uh, elements. You go on any large website built professionally, let's just use apple.com as an example. You could view that on the largest monitor possible and everything is still gonna stay intact. Cause you always wanna build the website if you always want to build the website on what if. What if someone is going to view this on a large monitor? You still want it to uh, work properly and not look like garbage. Now, there are a few ways they could have fixed this one. Now, they could have made the elements longer, but they could have done what they're doing with the text here. So, as you can see, as I'm zooming in on the text or zooming out, the text is staying fairly the same size. Now, they could have made this as you zoom out. It grows with the page so basically as the screen gets larger so does these elements get larger and and it would fill up more space so the point of this video is two things really one webflow and the, de the designers and the developers building this template you've got to put more focus on quality assurance and making sure that your website is working on all browsers they're working on all different screen sizes now i just showed you three but i actually found a lot more once i started looking and there is, it's insane at how many templates are completely broken right out of the box. And the second point of this video is if you're a business and you are going to the Webflow template store to purchase a template, try the best you can to see if it is broken or if it's not. I know that can be kind of hard to do if you don't build websites for a living. Also, if you're watching this and you are building a Webflow site for your first time or you're thinking about moving your company over to Webflow, check the description below for a free ebook that goes over the top mistakes that people make in Webflow and how to avoid them because it causes a lot of frustrations and it's reoccurring things that we've noticed after consulting with a lot of different companies.